So you've been considering making a move to Peterborough and relocating within Peterborough. You've been looking around wondering, where is everyone? Where are all the buyers? Maybe, where's Waldo? Today in this video, we are going to set the record straight. We are eliminating all the noise that the media is putting out there. Hold the presses. And we're talking about how big of an opportunity It's amazing. it is right now in the Peterborough market. So sit back, relax. If that's what you wanna know, this is the video for you. If you're relocating here, you already live here, I get text calls, emails from people just like you watching this video. So if you need help understanding the market or learning about Peterborough, don't forget, subscribe, like to my channel, reach out, I'm here to help. Let's take a deep dive in, maybe even find Waldo. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm Carrie Brockhurst, and today I'm here with the one, the only, Dion Jamidi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> nice to be here, Carrie. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So Dion is a colleague of mine. So we are part of Century 21 here in Peterborough. We wanted to talk to you guys today about what is happening in the Peterborough market. Yeah. There's a lot of media right now talking about the market. It's crashing. What do you think's happening? Give me your perspective. Oh, for sure. So the media is right by way of the market has changed significantly. Okay. So what we saw in 2021, it, it's changed a lot. The market has deflated about 20% since then. Um, but there's still lots of activity happening, and it's becoming a great market for typically Peterborough people to be able to buy and sell. So we've got a great market. We're coming into a great spring market. We're super excited about it. Are you seeing a lot more first-time home buyers, investors? Are you seeing a lot of buyers at all? We are seeing buyers, yes, investors for sure. Um, there's still lots of people where their lives have changed and they need a bigger or smaller home. That's going to fuel the market. I've seen less first-time buyers uh, with the interest rates changing so much. I believe we're going to see them in March, February, March of this year significantly. First-time buyers. Yes, they're, you know, they're ready to go. They're cash buyers. They're good to go. So we're still seeing some good activity in the market. The narrative with the market is saying, it's crashed, now's not a good time. What is your thoughts on that? The, na the narrative is accurate when you talk about Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal. Less of a factor when you get into Peterborough. What we did see last year was a significant amount of Toronto GTA buyers coming. Now we're back to that normal market of 19 yeah. and it's it's Peterborough people buying and selling and changing their, their, their life goals with, with real estate. I think it's just not be scared of buying and selling right now. Okay. Uh, the value is wonderful. The value for buying is wonderful. Interest rates at five and a half percent shouldn't scare anybody. Mm -hmm. I come from an era where anything under seven is a bargain. Um, we all know that houses grow six to seven percent a year. So even on borrowed money, your your equity is growing. Right. And I think that's an important part. So it is getting beyond the noise and realizing what's important for your family or your needs for housing. And I feel like if you want to in my opinion, get a good deal. Everyone wants the deal of the yes. century. Everyone wants a good deal, which I love a good deal too. Yep. But I mean, for me, I feel if you want a good deal, now is the time because not everyone is jumping. Is that correct to yeah, say? I, I agree with you. You're absolutely right. Um, a deal is both a state of mind, right? Yes. And so when you see a million dollar house now, $800,000, oh, that, wild. That's a good deal. And you're seeing that in Peterborough, guys. <laughs> you that. are seeing that. Like, we are not lying. You can look it up. So currently, right now, if you could describe the Peterborough market in one or two words, I might give you a sentence. What would you say about it? Opportunity. Ooh, I like For that. Sure. Yeah. Good. Compared to last year, it was crazy. The pandemic, things were hot, wild. Yes. Now things Yes, they're slowing down or getting back to normal. What's some of the changes that you're seeing now in the market in Peterborough? Oh, you know what? I, we're seeing some great things happening at Century 21. We are seeing open houses be yes. really well attended yes. every weekend. And it's a great opportunity for people to come back, look for the house or shop for their house or feel like they can look in a relaxed environment um, and it allows them, you know, to work through their buying process in a more safer environment for them, less pressure. So it's wonderful. Absolutely. And conditions are back. Conditions in. are back. It's great yes. for, it's great for buyers to be able to put the conditions they want to research the property. And it also is great for the seller to know that they've, the buyer has done their due diligence, for example, financing conditions. Yeah. 
it's wonderful for a seller to know that the people are actually pre-approved and ready to go mm -hmm. and not wait a month and there be a problem. So can, we're, we're, we're supportive of it. One of the big things here we wanted to bring back around and talk about was the opportunity in Peterborough because we feel sometimes that's not pushed enough, I would say, in the Absolutely, media. Yeah. We're always talking about negative, 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 and we always want to talk about the positives. And right now in Peterborough, it is a massive opportunity for first-time home buyers, investors. What are your thoughts? Yeah, we have, at Century 21, we have a, a townhome coming up at 249 yeah. in the next couple of weeks, which what? we haven't seen in years. So we're seeing prices reasonable. We might have a buyer for you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of buyers out there, but I yeah, got you. I but got it's you. good. And the other piece too, with Peterborough being such a special place close to the water, yeah. there's a great opportunity on waterfront. And waterfront was off the charts. We all know there's no more waterfront being made. Mm -hmm. And so that opportunity is awesome. So whether it's a 250 house, $2 million property, we have everything here. Mm -hmm. And so it's a great place for real estate. Absolutely, you heard it from the best, Dion Jamidi. Okay, I just wanted to go through some quick little stats for you guys before we end it there. Average sale price in November was 596,140 with 57 houses sold, 167 active listings. Previously, October 20, City of Peterborough, the average sale price was 621,715, 111 sales and 180 active listings. So with those numbers, you can see the prices are going down. Yes. More opportunity. Before we let everyone go, where can everyone find Dion Jamidi? Uh, at DionJamidi.ca, that's where we are. And, um, and Claps for Carrie, who yeah. brings a great energy to real estate and brings some great um, knowledge of the industry and just a really nice, fresh face to have in real estate. So we're happy to have you here as well. So when I'm not available, <laughs> call me on. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye.